Good morning, boys and girls. It's so good to see you all here today. Have we got a story for you? You see, what's amazing is that we've been studying the Bible and we're now at the very end, the very last chapter, Revelation, and we're gonna learn more about it. But I liken it to this. This is a tower. And we all know that God made the heavens and the earth, and he made them good. He made you and I good. We were in his image. We could do good. But unfortunately, man did wrong. And God's creation was still good, but now there was sickness and there was death and there was harm. And gradually, we took the things that God had made good and we made them bad. People can still make good choices, but the problem is, is that people don't have the ability now to save themselves, but God knew what to do. Once the world was broken, he had a plan. He wasn't surprised by what we tried. He had a plan and that plan was sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins. But because Jesus was God, he didn't stay dead. He rose from the grave. He conquered sin and death and everything that was wrong, which is amazing. And we have the ability to respond to him. And when we respond to him and we turn and we follow him and we do what he asks, he gives us a new name and a new life. <laughs> That's okay, because you know what? We can't fix God's creation, but God is going to come back and make a new heaven and a new earth, and he is going to fix it and make all things right and good again. I'm excited. Revelation describes some of the incredible things that will be in heaven. I don't even comprehend them, but I think it would be cool to fly and zap myself from here to there and see the beautiful colors and eat the incredible fruit that are on these trees and play with a lion. It's going to be cool because we are in the presence of God. So what's pretty cool is that God is going to return and he's going to make a new heaven and a new earth where there'll be no sorrow, there'll be no sadness, there'll be no coughs, there'll be no evil, and he will be the light that shines and it's going to be incredible. So I need for you to sit up straight, I need for you to point your nose right up to the front and wait until your teacher tells you what to do next.